All right, back to task 5.8. We're going to go through another example here. And this one is one that tripped people up a little bit. So I did want to go over number four. So we're going to talk about Carlos again. He bought two packages of dog bones and four packages of cat treats for $18.50. So I can set up this first one pretty easily. I'm going to call it D for dog bones and then C for cat treats. Here's where people get a little tripped up. Because finicky cats didn't like the cat treats, the next week he returned three unopened bags of cat treats and bought two more packages of dog bones. After being refunded for the cat treats, Carlos only had to pay $1 for his purchase. This can get a little tricky. Here's the way I approached it. And I thought this, one, this way was kind of nice. What you want to think of is when he walks into this store... And he's walking out. He's walking out with what? He's walking out with two packages of dog bones. He's walking out with two packages. Oh, that should be 2D, excuse me. He's walking out with two packages of dog bones. How did he get here? Now, this wasn't a typical transaction here where he just handed over money. He did something a little different this time. Instead of just giving them money, he gave them three unopened cat treats. He said, have some cat treats, have a dollar, and in return, you give me two bags of dog bones. That's the trick here, because this is a little bit different. So in this case, as you can see, we have an equation that looks a little differently here. So again, just to recap here, he returned three unopened cat treats, handed them to the cashier, Handed the cashier a dollar, so that's 3C and a dollar. Gave the three cat treats and a dollar. And in return, the cashier gave him two more packages of dog bones. So that's where this next system came from. Now, now that I see this, it's a little easier to set up. What I'm probably going to do is I want to get my C's over to here. So in order to do that, I can subtract 3C on each side. And that gives me 2 d Actually, I'm going to start right the original one here, plus 4C equals 1850. Now, for this new one, I get 2D minus 3C equals 1. And then from here, it's, it's kind of easy. 2Ds cancel out. I'm just left with 1C here. Again, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting. Well, let's see. Actually, I'm subtracting. I almost made a small mistake here. And that's why it's good to double-check yourself here. The reason I almost made a mistake here is because I forgot to write my operation. I'm subtracting each time because 2 minus 2 gives me that 0D I'm looking for. Now, if I'm subtracting here, 4C minus negative, it's going to give me a positive. I get 7C. And then I get 1850 minus 1 gives me 1750. Then I'm going to have to use a little bit of uh, mathematics here, use some skills, do some division out, and... For sake of what I'm doing, I'm going to use a calculator quickly. And I get C equals 250. That's kind of nice. That's nice and easy. Notice I'm using decimals here. I can use decimals because it's money. And now I can plug this value for C into any of my equations here. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm looking, I like this one here, the 2D minus 3C equals 1. Anytime I see 1, I'm inclined to think it might be a little easier, so I'm going to do a little zoom here. I'm going to do 2D minus 3. Instead of C, I'm going to plug in 2.5 equals 1. 2D minus 7 equals 1. All right, easy enough. Add 7 to each side. 2D equals 8. Divide each side by 2. And I get D equals 4. So that's telling me my cat treats are two two fifty, my dog treats are four bucks. So again, the key to this one is to not think of it as a typical transaction. Instead of just going in and handing money, what ended up happening in this case was they handed dog treats over plus one dollar, and then they got their two bags. Ah, excuse me, they handed in three cat treats, gave them one dollar, and then in return they got two bags of dog treats. This one's a little tricky, so I wanted to show you how you could work your way through this one. Good luck.